after the Soviet Red Army liberated the city of Minsk, in Belarus, in early July 1944, the German Army's high command had very few reserves to stop the Soviets advancing. Near the city of Białystok, the remaining German forces were organized into a blocking group under the command of General Helmut Wiedling. This included several new formations in addition to the troops that had escaped from the Soviet victory Minsk. To the south, the defense was conducted by the northern wing of German Second Army, which had been reinforced, notably with the 28th Age Division, in the hope of mounting an attack to break through to the units of Army Group Center still trapped east of Minsk. By July 11, 1944, the Soviet 50th Army had forced crossings of the Nieman River south of Dokudovo and moved forward against Wiedling's forces. It crossed the Kortra River by July 13, and reached Grodno by the 15th. The Red Army's 69th and 81st Trifle Corps stormed Grodno on the morning of the 16th. The Soviet 3rd Army, on the northern flank of the neighboring 1st Belorussian Front, took Volkovysk around the same time. On the 23rd of July, the 4th Army commander, Friedrich Hosbach, in agreement with Field Marshal Walter Modell, committed the newly arrived 19th Panzer Division into a counterattack with the intention of cutting off the Soviet spearheads in the Augustov Forest. One regiment surprised the Soviet forces in Grodno, and claimed to have destroyed some 180 tanks, before being forced back southwards towards Białystok. A second regiment recaptured Lipsk, but then was forced to withdraw to help with the first regiment's disengagement. Due to a lack of resources, the German counteroffensive failed. The second Belorussian front had successfully forced the entire length of the Neiman and Sveis lock by July 24. The 50th Army, with support from the 3rd Guards Cavalry Corps, Tokori took the eastern part of the August of Forest and part of the outlying fortifications of Grodno, which the Germans had retained after their counteroffensive. There was intense fighting as the German 50th Infantry Division attempted to defend the highway between Grodno and Białystok. In the meantime, the 3rd Army had reached the outskirts of Białystok itself, despite strong resistance from the German forces. It stormed the city and took it by July 27, after several days of street fighting. The Belostok offensive had proved largely successful in terms of its immediate tactical objectives. By the end of July 1944, the Soviets were in possession of the communications centers of Grodno and Białystok. However, their supply lines were becoming dangerously overextended and their troops exhausted. Progress slowed as the Army Group Center commander, Volta Modell, was able to organize an effective defense with the few units available. The second Belorussian Front's final objective in Operation Bagration was to advance to the Nerf River in the late Rosovitz offensive.